Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson and in today's video we're going to get our storm shelter ready for the upcoming tornado season. Pardon the echo. Um, here's a look inside. About uh, six, six foot one total height, a little over four and a half foot by six and a half foot in size on the floor. The walls do slope out a bit in the middle and then back in towards the top. All we currently have inside is water and a dog leash. And in today's video, we're going to put together a kit so we're more prepared. We plan to install a bench along this wall which will be a little over six and a half feet long. There's not a ton of space, but plenty for our family of five. One big issue we've noticed already is the amount of moisture. As you can see here by the rust. The grip tape on the stairs is nice. With uh, higher humidity, this door collects moisture. Most of the time when we open up the door, there's water droplets on the lid. Part of the reason there's none right now is because we were inside it yesterday doing a trial run. It also depends on the moisture level outside. It is warmer inside the shelter because it's underground. This storm shelter was made and installed by Midwest Storm Shelters. On the side we have two metal sleeves on the concrete. This is how you secure the door in the event of a tornado. Here's a look at the door pins. These pins slide into the sleeves to lock the door in place. We also have this additional latch which holds the door down. You do have the ability to lock this handle in the closed position which uh, I assume is to keep uh, kids and whatnot out. Um, I would never put a padlock on this because in the event of an emergency I wouldn't want to have to be locked out. So maybe a carabiner clip or something just to keep it closed, keep kids out, and then easily take it off when we need to get in. It's got some air holes. One disadvantage of this shelter type is uh, if you have someone who's older, has a hard time going up and down stairs, this is definitely a hard place to get into. Um, we are concerned about getting our dog down here as well. We have not taken him down there yet. Another disadvantage of an in-ground storm shelter is the flooding potential. However, we're not super concerned about that due to our location. Our home is located on top of a hill, as well as our garage floor is sloped away from the shelter. The door is the highest point in our garage. I quickly threw together this bench. It's approximately 18 inches tall, and I used two 2x10s. Some considerations on my bench design were enough room underneath it if we had to sleep in the shelter that there was room for a child to, to lay or sleep underneath. If we had to, my wife or I could sleep here as well. Here's a look inside our tornado survival kit. One of the first things we got was this weather radio. This is about $20 on Amazon. Uh, when it arrived, it was smaller than I expected, um, but it does do the job that we wanted. It's got a weather band radio as well as AM FM. Uh, it has the ability to tune. It's got a flashlight on it, hand crank, uh, it has this charger cable that comes with it, so you can charge it with a USB. And you can also flip this charger around and pull it out, hook it in the opposite way, and you can charge um, a cell phone. Uh, this is not the right charger for our phone, but we've got an extra charger in here for that. So there's a quick look at the weather radio. It is able to charge uh, with solar panel as well. This is a 3 watt weather radio. First aid kit is uh, an essential item as well. Inside the bucket here, we've got a waterproof lid. These can be found, we got this one at Lowe's, um, $5 or so, I think this bucket was another $5. Actually, this lid may be closer to $10, um, but really inexpensive, keeps the moisture out. Just got some snacks in here, got some jerky, some Quest bars, some more Quest bars, this was a $2 light my wife found, uh, not super bright, 
um, but definitely helps out down in the storm shelter. Here's that charger cable, so this can be used to charge both my wife's phone and my phone. Some Z-bars. Um, a, a book, or some games for the, the kids. A flashlight. Some wipes. Towelettes. Got some pain relief. Um, this was an extra size, this is extra large for what we need, um, but this was the same price as a small jar, so that's why we have got this. Ibuprofen. We got an antihistamine. Some fruit snacks. Um, we've got uh, VIP spray. Um, one last thing um, chewable aspirin for the kids. Um, one side note on this VIP spray, we don't really know how we're going to handle that situation. Um, if, if we're just uh, doing a, um, a tornado warning and we don't actually have a tornado, we aren't going to really have an issue. We'll be down there half an hour or so, what we've been told. Uh, not a big deal. But if we uh, get trapped in the shelter, which is a possibility if there's a tornado and the, the house does fall down on top of it or a vehicle or something gets pushed in the way, uh, we could be waiting for crews. Um, we live here in Joplin, Missouri, where we've, there was a, a, a big tornado back in 2011, and uh, it, it took crews three or four days, for, in some cases, to find all the people. Um, we hope that it wouldn't ever have to be that long, but in that event, um, this bucket will also double as um, a bathroom for our family. Um, and that's another reason for this sealable lid, is just to keep that, that smell out. So that's uh, definitely something that I uh, haven't heard much about, of how people handle that wanted to share that. I know it's uh, not very uh, appealing, um, but there's our there's our kit. Um, got my wife's vinyl cutter out to put this on here. Uh, might as well make make uh, fun out of a, a bad situation. So we've kind of got stressed up a little bit and, and had some fun with it. So is this everything we need? Um, I'm sure there's more we could benefit from having in this kit. But this is a good start, and with preparedness, I think that's the important key. If the first thing you do is, is get a weather radio, that's a great start, and just one thing at a time. We're new to the Midwest and new to a tornado alley, so we want to be prepared for the worst, and uh, you know it's an unfortunate thing in the area where we now live, um, but the best thing we can do to, to overcome that anxiety is, is be prepared, and, and having these items ready is one way we're going to be prepared. Talked a little bit about the moisture issues, and because of those moisture issues, we've decided to store this outside of the shelter, but it is right here next to the shelter. In the event that we have to, to come out here quickly, it's right here on the way. We can grab it and go as we get in. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As with any preparedness measures, this is all just things that we're doing to make our lives more comfortable and easy in the event of a disaster. It is an emergency kit and we hope that we never have to use it.